Morning Crew all the time. And like I said, we are continuing with the On The Spot. And joining me right now is an international star, a musical genius who is recognized internationally. He's an Afrobeat singer, songwriter, TV personality, as well as businessman. He has collaborated with uh, musicians such as uh, Snoop Dogg, Ekon, Casper uh, Nyobes, Tiwa, and uh, has worked with uh, Kanye, you know, um, Kanye West. He's best known internationally for his uh, 2020, uh, 2012 uh, summer hit, Oliver Twist, uh, that topped a number of, um, of uh, African charts, you know. Uh, I'm talking about uh, the one and only award-winning Nigerian superstar, Dibanj. We shall be catching up with him as he narrates his musical journey and his experience in Zimbabwe. Welcome, Dibanj. I know. Conquer. I'm Dibanj or Skiba like what you call me. And I must greet you special. Ah, uh, nice one. It is an honor to have you on the show. How are you doing, uh, Happy Dibanj? New Year. Hey, compliment of the new season. I'm man. telling you, it's a new year, 2023. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And it's the year of the fulfillment. Fulfillment. Yes, yes indeed. Okay. You know, I'm here with the prophets. Mm hmm. Mm. Uh, prophet Passion Java. Yes, uh, so everything is already prophetic. <laughs> the uh, prophet. Only prophet in the world. <laughs> so, yeah, how are you finding your stay in Zimbabwe? Oh, I'm Zimbabwe loving it. Now. I'm <laughs> loving it. Remember where I saw you? Yeah. At the restaurant. In the restaurant, yeah, ah! this afternoon. <laughs> and I think that was so interesting because last time I was here, mm -hmm. I didn't get to experience the natural food, mm -hmm. you know, and the culture as much as I would have wanted to. Yeah. And I think that's that's what I'm, I'm here to do today. Nice. And the last time you were you were here, in, uh, it was in October, right? October 2013. Yeah. Um, for the Lion Lager Summer Beer, I mean, uh, first of all. And I'm uh, assuming this is your second time uh, visiting Zimbabwe, In, correct? Yeah. Okay. And uh, what are, are, are you enjoying most, uh, the most, you know, about our country, Zimbabwe? I know you will say it's weird, but I love the weather. Mm -hmm. The weather is just like sleep and wake up. <laughs> no problem at all. You know, yeah, you got no problem. The weather uh, is good? I love the weather. I love the people. Uh -huh. you know, it's, um, it, it's a very interesting people mm -hmm. and... And I'm just looking forward to us getting into the studio mm -hmm. and um, banging out some hits, mm -hmm. as we do. And what are you most impressed with in Zimbabwe? Everything. Everything? Everything. Last time I was here, it was not like this. <laughs> it was only those sand. You know those sand that will make you feel like you're in the desert? Yeah. But now, hey Coconut Liberty. <laughs> Labata. You know what I'm saying? You saw what I, I was saying. I, I know. <laughs> It becomes so great, but I, but but even the last time I was here, the airport was different. Mm -hmm. So I can see that the airport, you know, is is, is crazy. It's, yeah, it's, the infrastructure the is, of, uh, is beautiful. Yeah, of and even the roads, the mm. expansions of the roads, mm -hmm. it's it's more. Mm -hmm. It's beginning to look like as if hey, I'm in America, in Africa, in Africa. <laughs> okay, I see you. Uh, you've been hanging out with the uh, Passion Java, and he's here. You know, um, what Zimbabwean meals has he introduced you to? A lot. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> a lot and a lot of this the acts as well in fact when we're coming here mm -hmm. he did a collaboration post mm -hmm. because we we wanted to come feel the people yeah and he told me that when you get here you'll be convinced you yes. just you just walk yeah and that's how we, you know music is about the energy mm -hmm. and uh, music is very universal so yeah. it's not about the language you're speaking it's about us connecting so mm -hmm. we had he had kind of like a teaser mm -hmm. for the people yeah and i would like him to say it because he asked the question he said who should the band mm -hmm do something with in mm -hmm. Zimbabwe. Yeah. So I'll let the prophet say the two names mm -hmm. and I'll tell you what the people said. Okay. Two names, prophet? Ja Fraser and Rocky. Oh! <laughs> Why those two? The, the, these, Why those are, two? these are the, the god of this music industry in Zimbabwe. You know Rocky from 2001. Uh -huh. Wow. Uh, Rocky and Ja Fraser when it comes to international collabs and stuff. These mm -hmm. two, when it comes to outside, they are the biggest. Mm. Wow. Uh, uh, that's powerful. Then, of course, we have... Uh, King 98 also doing collabs. These three, when it comes to outside of Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. uh -huh. powerful. Uh -huh. So, Dibanj, no, let me ask you. Yeah. I'm putting you on the spot. Uh -huh. Who should I? You heard what the prophet said. If I were to do one collaboration with one person, mm -hmm. who would you say first? Uh -huh. you know, like, we'll, we'll continue, but which one first? Which one first? I would say a vote. No, no, no. Among the, <laughs> no, among the two. Among, oh, among the two. Among the oh, two. sorry. You see now, he has added another name that we're doing. Oh, yes. Oh, that's yeah. called Vault. So no, no, no. It's all right. I'll say, among the two. I'll say Rocky, fine. Really? Rocky. Okay. Yeah, because I think you've got the same vibe. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The energy is right. And the energy is right. Ah, yeah. That's what I then said. Then Jabra is as well. That's what I said. I like that. I like that. I so how did you meet uh, Passion Jabra? Oh, my God. It was a prophetic meeting. 
<laughs> it was true. a prophetic meeting because I was in um, Cape Town mm -hmm. for, I wouldn't say, it was one of the brands just... Uh, we're having an activation for them doing a commercial mm -hmm. and it was more of us even speaking about the future of african culture mm -hmm. when i mean african culture i'm saying music fashion movies and we can see that that's what's growing now you mm -hmm. know that's what's pushing the narrative for africa and mm -hmm. if we continue and we invest in that yeah. we can only change the future mm -hmm. so for me i was there and then they said somebody is like the bank somewhere. yeah <laughs> somewhere I, somewhere i say oh god who's this and yeah. i've heard of his story before mm -hmm. so many mm -hmm. media crews this yeah man, yeah this man god is using him mm. for a lot of things you know mm. a lot of positive things and mm -hmm. I, like i always say to him i say he's a sign of um visible hope mm -hmm. because everybody wakes up every day with hope yeah. in our mind yeah yeah you want to go to work you mm -hmm. have hope that you, you know you have a great day yeah sure you yeah. know you have hope that you meet the bunch mm -hmm. you have hope that you buy billions mm, you know yeah, by gold yes, and all that. yes but then you that's just hope mm -hmm. which is called faith in the bible yes but when you see visible hope that means i can see it tangible tangible i can connect with it wow. i can hold it you're not sounding like a prophet like a pastor i'm, I'm like i told him prophet tell me let me open the church <laughs> me and you, prophet. Hey, God, <laughs> you want to I, open the church i now? want hey, i want to open the church and i want and i'm begging the prophet i say we have to go to nigeria <laughs> i have to be the one to take the prophet to nigeria, to nigeria. For first yeah. time oh yeah yes. for the first time for the first time wow so and uh you gave uh, an amazing uh performance at the big brother titans uh, official uh, launch uh, that happened on sunday along oh. Yes. Uh, our very own fashion java yeah do you have a song together uh, <laughs> uh, apart from this one oh of course in fact we we have a project together mm -hmm. not just one song mm -hmm. and like i said when i met passion mm -hmm. his, his vision for africa was clear to me mm -hmm. which is to promote african artists african culture mm -hmm. be it you know they're calling mr gucci yeah <laughs> so be it fashion music comedy mm -hmm. movies like he's got a reality show coming up soon mm -hmm. and, you know so so many things i want to do and for me i said you know what let's go because that's mm -hmm. what i've been preaching yeah. since yeah so we have not one song but i think now we have what four four songs yeah we have, yeah, we have four songs mm -hmm. <laughs> and what's the message behind the, the, the songs oh visible, visible hope visible hope yes not just normal hope hope mm -hmm. where you know be hope where you know the ceo yeah hope that you can connect with mm -hmm. and um, at the end of the day we want everybody out there to be able to say if the band mm -hmm. and passion java mm -hmm. can do this then I can do I it. I can do this. Oh, I like that. In Zimbabwe, we have quite a number of uh, you know, super you know, talented musicians. Yep. Uh, the likes of uh, Jar Prezer, like mm -hmm. you mentioned, Jar yep. Rocky, Nati, mm -hmm. O, Tommy Moyo, Amara Brown. The list is endless. I know? know, but you mentioned someone called Vote. Who's Vote? Vote. Because I think that's your favorite now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he is not my favorite though. <laughs> but why do you say Vote? Uh, he's a good, uh, he's a good hip hop artist. Does he have the vote from the uh, um, <laughs> from the Transformer? Transformer vote is shocked because me, I have Vote. Emergency, emergency, you. <laughs> never see me coming through <laughs> so i don't know maybe that's the kind of voltage you uh -huh. okay maybe uh, when you do the collab you will see Chai! <laughs> <laughs> so any artist from this side you would like to collaborate with i mean apart from japanese and rocky no you you know you already mentioned some of the few but yes. i told him i said i want to go with an open mind yeah, yeah. and he has given me two uh -huh. but i want the cocoa leads. yes <laughs> the cocoa i need the cocoa leads, don't you <laughs> I need one cocolet to do a collaboration. Give me one woo woo woo. What? One cocolet that I can do a collaboration with here. Nigeria, Madame Zimbabwe. <laughs> Say it, Madame let them know that you are the one speaking. Madam Boss. Hey, where is she? <laughs> where is she? Lebete Labata. Where is she? Madam the Madam. Madame the Boss. <laughs> so, so, what do you so love the most about their music? Okay. Uh, Listen, like, African yeah. music is so. It's, it's, it's our culture it's mm -hmm. our it's our lifestyle so mm -hmm. just what you're asking me is like we are it's like you asking me what i like generally about her mm -hmm. it's us when I, we don't do like all those kind of musicians yeah in africa when we sing when we put it out there it's about us it's yeah. about our life it's about how we look how we feel mm -hmm. so if, if you already feel someone you already love the person mm -hmm. because you can tell that's it so for me i'm just i'm excited you know <laughs> and uh you know that the zimbabweans they have the natural <laughs> the one that is coming from the behind that's encouraging the front <laughs> and then that thing make the world go round even the producer of our show is well endowed like that <laughs> Three goes up for producer. Go star, go star, go star. Go star. Go star. Go star. Guys, 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 what is this? Oh, I no, no, it's, the no. it's an overload. It's an overload. overload. Okay. So from the songs you have listened to so far, uh, the band, um, by Zimbabwean artists, you know how different are they from your uh, kind of music in Nigeria? No, not too, not. No, listen, not too much different. Just like the food. Mm -hmm. 
uh, Prophet wanted me to feel the food, so he took me. What's that place, Kato, Kato Park, that we went to eat? Kato. That one is called Konke. Kon, uh-huh. Konke or Konka? Yeah. Where do you go eat today? Konka. 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 Ah, okay. Yeah. Konka restaurant. So, so what tripped me about it is that they had n- even the same thing we eat mm-hmm. back in Nigeria, mm-hmm. but the way it's prepared is different. It's different. You know? Mm-hmm. In fact, they had one that they put a peanut butter. Mm-hmm. In, in the rice, a rice in the I have never seen a peanut butter in the rice. Okay, I use a peanut butter for bread. Okay, when I put it in the rice, I know I'm in trouble. <laughs> you know, I know it's going to be a mashup. <laughs> and, and, and so, is it? <laughs> you start speaking in tongues. Yes, I heard it. I'm speaking in tongues. <laughs> but so, for me, just like the music, yeah. So you have the same ingredient, mm-hmm. but the way it's prepared mm-hmm. is different, more rich. And I think that's what Zimbabwean music has got. It's got mm-hmm. rich sound rich in culture, rich in, even in the instruments. Mm-hmm. And um, I love the way people sing in your language. Mm, yeah. It's so good. Yeah. So, so good. So we want, to, we want you to sing in our language. Ah, wait, what's that one that, uh, the, the, the dangerous? Is it dangerous. Dangerous. Uh, dangerous. Dangerous. <laughs> dangerous. Hey, I don't know what I'm going to Hey, you see my hand? Dangerous. <laughs> if I catch you, you're in trouble. Hey, dangerous. <laughs> hey, it's about more work. Hey, hey. <laughs> So yeah, I'm that's, to, that's to let you know that we are not too different from each other. And <laughs> it, you know, it sounds so Nigerian. Dangerous sounds so yeah, Nigerian. Yeah, uh, You know, um, I'm certain most people uh, don't know that uh, you actually studied mechanical engineering. You know, at Lagos University, a home mechanic engineer who is now an international superstar. How amazing! You know, um, tell us about the transition. You know, into music. Ah, it's good because I tell people that mechanical engineering and music is MM. You know, both of them are the same thing. So I went to Lagos State University. We studied mechanical engineering, but my dream was always to study music mm-hmm. and to understand it. So when I got a chance, you know, to go abroad, mm-hmm. to study where I met Don Jazzy, mm-hmm. it was such a beautiful thing. So I was in London where we studied and then I met Don Jazzy. And for me, it was also just combining and identifying and knowing my mm-hmm. strength mm-hmm. and knowing our talents. And I say to people that content is the new crude. Mm-hmm. Because growing up, why I was doing mechanical engineering is because we're taught that crude oil was Nigeria's biggest export. Mm, yeah, you true. know, but today our biggest export is the content. Content, yeah. You understand? Movies, so the music, movies, music, fashion. Good videos. So it's, that's yeah. it. So it yeah. becomes. That's why I say content mm-hmm. is the new crude oil. Yeah. You know, one time it was crude oil. Now mm-hmm. it is content. content. So I'm so privileged to have come into the game when I did, and to have put in so much because now today that's what's driving the economy. Mm-hmm not just in Nigeria, but yep. in Africa. And mm-hmm. that's why I'm here, to make sure that there's a unity. Mm-hmm. I tell people that um, in 2023, collaboration mm-hmm. is the new competition. Wow. Yeah. And did you ever uh, make use of your degree or uh, you abandoned it? My brother, I abandoned that, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm making use of it in my daily mechanical <laughs> negotiation. You understand me now? Negotiation. But yeah, but it's been more of the music. And I think more of you just passing through that you have the network, you have the discipline, mm-hmm. then you can put it into whatever field you end up in. And you're one of the, the founders of uh, uh, More Hits Records. Yes, yes, yeah, indeed. A record company that you, know, you partnered with uh, Don Jazzy. You mentioned yes. about Don Jazzy earlier. And I must say, you made a, a, a quite a beautiful team. Oh, so yes. What happened to your fallout? No, it's generalized life. Mm. You know, variety is the spice of life. Change mm-hmm. is the only constant thing in life. Mm-hmm. I think when I was here... Uh, ten years ago, I was here with one of them, Wanda Cole. Mm-hmm. I don't. You, everybody knows Wanda Cole. Yeah. And I think it's just I was here with Wanda Cole. I was here with Ike Chuku, and it was just about us expanding our music, mm-hmm. expanding the culture. And I think if you if that then happened, there will not be a room for us to be able to be this big. Mm-hmm. You know, far back as 10, 11 years ago, yep. we already had the first collaboration with Kanye West, yeah. the first collaboration with Snoop Dogg. Mm-hmm. And I, or like I said to Prophet, that I think set the foundation mm-hmm. for what people are doing today because it's called Visible Hope. Mm-hmm. Because prior to me, all we hear and feel is fate. Oh, to even have a collaboration done was like a miracle, mm-hmm. you know, when yeah. we're growing up. Mm-hmm. You, if, you, if you hear it, it's, it's, you don't even see it. Mm-hmm. But with us, we could actually bring that to a reality where the new generation can connect and today you can have a whiskey and a drink. Yeah, yeah. It's because there's something that they can aspire to. Mm-hmm. So for me, I believe that's the biggest thing. And in our journey, we do not choose how we end up, but we can only yep. choose where the journey is taking us. Mm-hmm. And by God's grace, it's taking us to this place where today we're part of the foundation mm-hmm. for what is called African music or African entertainment industry. So it's lovely. Yeah, it's uh, lovely. I, I like that. But could it be maybe that you decided to go separate ways because um, 
Kaiyo. Uh, the hit song uh, Oliver Twist. <laughs> was it because of Oliver Twist? No, we went separate ways before Oliver Twist. Before Oliver Twist. Yeah. I okay. think I have uh, like a hundred songs with Don Jazzy that maybe only two or three have come out. Oh yeah. But would you agree with me when I say the song Oliver Twist opened doors for you? No, open doors for everybody in Africa. It's the first everybody. African artist to uh, press African song to become a top 10 in the uk and yeah. in europe and mm -hmm. went to number two in london number one in about 10 european countries romania spain and all mm -hmm. that and i think like you said it's a journey if i had yeah. stayed behind mm -hmm. and not pursued pushed against the tide because mm -hmm. nobody was listening to our songs yeah. then yeah. they actually consider as african music they kind of like see so until mm -hmm. we broke the barrier yeah. and now people can come through so mm -hmm. sometimes when you find yourself in a difficult journey or in a difficult lane mm -hmm. know that you're put there for a reason because god wants to set you aside mm -hmm. so i come into any country in africa or in the world today and they call me a piss setter I say ah you did this and mm, that's yes, why these people yes. are doing this it's mm -hmm. because of Israel. but imagine that i didn't have the strength mm -hmm. and the grace of god to yeah. continue then you know, there will be no these. And so that I'm privileged. And I think that that's why my name is written in uh, gold. <laughs> it's like the break breakthrough, you know? You know, and yeah. Passion Java says it's going to give me a gold mine. It's <laughs> going to give me something in Victoria Falls. I want to gold shoot mine. a video in Victoria Falls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll shoot a video the water behind me. The coconut running, running, running. To me. <laughs> I forgot to tell you, this guy Ola is wearing a $10,000 suit. Hey, yo! $10, that's visible. Hope. visible. That's visible. Hope. You yeah. see, that's, listen, uh, you asked me about our collaboration. Yeah. So, <laughs> what about... <laughs> One of our first songs to come out is called Chop Life. Mm -hmm. Chop life. And that's what he's trying to say. He say you look like you're chopping life already. Okay. Yeah. You know, you know, in fact, yeah. you're wearing ten thousand dollars suit. <laughs> Only you you are chopping the life. And I'm I think it's in, it's very important Thank you. to let people know that you are chopping the life. Because <laughs> you wake up in the morning uh, and you go out is because you really want to chop the life. Yeah. If you don't chop life, life will chop you. Yeah, true. So it's good to chop the life. Well, now you Perfect. need to clap your hands because okay. Philip Chiangwa is inspiring you every day. <laughs> Okay, because of the suit, right? Okay. So, uh, uh, Dibanj, you have won so many awards uh, from Artist of the Year at the MTV African Music Awards 2009, best-selling African artist at the 2014 World Music Awards, and, and so forth. You know, uh, from where you started to that, would you have imagined that uh, you could uh, scoop such huge awards? Mm -mm. No, that's what's called visible hope. Mm. We just, we, we pray to God and um, we have faith mm -hmm. and we put our hard work to it. And um, today when we see these kind of things happening, mm -hmm. we just always appreciate it. Sometimes it's like a dream. Mm. Um, when people mention my names in places, when yeah. they say what we've done, mm -hmm. it's because we never waited to receive the accolades. You are mm -hmm. running. It's like what you're doing now. Yep. Later when you see pictures, when you see videos, you'll be like, ah, I didn't even enjoyed i didn't feel this moment because yeah. the band was here i yeah. just walked mm -hmm. and i moved sometimes mm -hmm. we walk so much mm -hmm. but we don't understand that we're actually putting in the work yeah. so for me i'm grateful to god because so many people out there are talented so many people are actually spending the mm -hmm. money so many mm -hmm. people are working so hard but yet only a handful mm -hmm. are celebrated not wow. because the rest of the people are not that talented mm -hmm. it's because those people have grace you know and and god has shined light on them so mm -hmm. i want to encourage everyone out there not to give up Mm -hmm. because you can do it for 10 years you can do it for five years but all we actually do need is the grace of god mm -hmm. and that's why the partnership between myself and passion java mm -hmm. is so real because when i met him he showed me what he's trying to do with java yeah. records yeah um, what he's been doing with his heart mm -hmm. artists is brought in likes of Kofi Olumide yes, to come yes. into collaborations mm -hmm. and just because he loves the culture mm -hmm. and I said you know what I like what you say I like the energy like mm -hmm. we're saying yeah let's do this together so that in future we can celebrate that mm -hmm. and that's what I love that I'm here for nice and how did you feel collaborating with uh, and, and working with uh, uh, names recognized worldwide the likes of uh, Econ, Snoop Dogg and Kanye West no it's like like, like uh, one of them told me something mm. says that uh, we should always, and, and I want to encourage everyone out there listening to me as a musician mm -hmm. or a creative person, uh, one of the legends and mentors that I respect said to me that uh, do not feel somehow, a collaboration is a collaboration, whether you're an Asian artist mm -hmm. from India or you're an African artist from Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. both of you are the same. Mm -hmm. Whether he has one billion views uh, or you have one view or he has one billion followers, mm -hmm. it's because in the creative world, both of you are now together. You are trying to yes. create a wonderful peace together mm. so never feel because people always make mistake and say ah international artists african artists yes, collaboration yes. please throw out that front mm. we're all artists. artists and when you're going in not there african artists, no 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 no, 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 no. we're all artists we're all artists mm. and it was Wyclef Jean that mm -hmm. told me this in kenya in 2008 uh 2009 mm -hmm. at the first uh mtv uh, africa mm -hmm. awards they brought it uh, we did some kind of thing and someone said ah Wyclef meet the african artists mm -hmm. and Wyclef said ah there's nothing like african artists yeah. we are all 
artists. artists. It's just that you're from Africa, mm -hmm. I'm from America, you're from this. And that changed my mindset. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it was the same time he looked at me after I performed and he says, yeah. you know what, the band, you're African Michael Jackson. And I said, hee hee. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, for everyone out there, just know that <laughs> this this is actually bringing that full circle for us yeah. letting us know that we are all one mm -hmm. so i'm looking forward to a nigerian um zimbabwean collaboration yeah i'm looking to forward to a nigerian zimbabwean mm -hmm. tour i'm looking forward to a nigerian zimbabwean music video mm -hmm. Nigerian zimbabwean movie where we are all collaborating oh, wow. together yeah. yes yeah. and that's and mm -hmm. i think that's the vision that this young man is here and i'm excited i like that and uh, should we expect more international projects Ayaba, you know <laughs> uh, why am I here? I'm already international. Yeah. Now Zimbabwe, you get, can't you see your roads? It's already been like as if I'm in Atlanta. <laughs> so Atlanta. It is, have you seen the coconuts? The, the nyash? It's yash. like a hot, I won't talk. It's on censored okay. radio. <laughs> the beauty of a woman is it's not, not in, in the nyash. <laughs> it's, it's in, in the mindset. <laughs> And you guys are say. crazy. <laughs> Have you been to London? Do you know how many Zimbabwean coconuts are making Afrobeat big? Mm. Mm. I cannot talk. You cannot talk. Mm -mm -mm. Please. In London, we're everywhere. Me. I'm curious. Please no, but me. you know London, we're everywhere. <laughs> The London, yeah, but UK, they should just give us free visa entry from Zimbabwe. <laughs> Especially if you are a coconut. Liberty, Labata, is a big overload. Hey, God. <laughs> Too much overload happening in South Africa now, they're putting a load and, shed. Uh, you know what, uh, now we are now here. Yeah. You know what? I, I read somewhere that uh, you learned how to play a harmonica instrument, uh, also known as the free reed wind instrument, yes. uh, during your teenage days, uh, so as to honor your older brother. Who died in a plane crash at the age of um, 17. How far true is that? It's 100% true. Mm, mm. Uh, you know, I went to Nigerian military school. My father was in the military. Yeah. And I would have been in the army. Mm -hmm. I wanted to save the world. Oh, yeah. You know, like Jack Bauer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jason Bond. Mm. John Wick. <laughs> I think I would have been a good spy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then that was what I wanted to do. But God has a, God has a way for everyone. Mm -hmm. And I lost my brother. When oh, I, so I was 14. He was yeah, 17. Mm -hmm. And um, I think the only thing I picked back from the whole luggage, because it was in a military school, was mm -hmm. the harmonica. Yeah. And for I didn't even know what it meant then, but later on I started reading about it and I realized that that was actually the only instrument allowed by the Westerners, mm -hmm. you know, to our people. Yeah. So when they took them as slaves, they never allowed them in the beginning to mm. play piano yeah, yeah. or guitar. It was always the harmonica. Mm. So it was more of a healing instrument mm, mm. it's a wind instrument like you said but most people do not know about it mm -hmm. so no one taught me how to play yeah but i took it because of my brother and then i started learning how to play it and started playing and today i see that it's, mm. it's become it's become such a great instrument and, and how do you feel you know whenever you play it uh, or what kind of memories does it bring in the beginning it's like a iron man mm. you know that i own my anti wear the suit <laughs> you know that kind of thing because when i play it i feel that um i feel that god actually separated me for this mm -hmm. because part of what was recovered from his items because he had a plane crash mm -hmm. even though he was starting to be a pilot mm -hmm. and, um, he had a plane crash and what part of what was recovered was the harmonica mm -hmm. and so i picked it and i went to school so anytime i played a few weight more closer to him mm -hmm. i feel like i'm complaining what it maybe he started the love that he had and mm -hmm. that's why me being in music today is not my decision alone mm -hmm. but was something driven by him by mm -hmm. god and and i'm proud that i can make him proud mm -hmm. um today so I, I stand boldly to say that whatever you're doing give it your all mm. and um, at the end of the day you want to be a visible hope yeah very true That's it. apart from music the bunch yes uh, you are a businessman a husband as well as a father how do you balance work and family time hayaba yes you have to know that uh, when you finish your passion java if you do not go home your wife will drive you <laughs> <laughs> you have to, you have to say that uh, I think I think it's very important for you mm -hmm. to connect with people that um, understand you, people that love you, and mm -hmm. people that know what you're doing. So, for some people, the calling is bigger than you alone, mm -hmm. and I think that's what God has blessed me with. So I have a wonderful wife mm -hmm. that understands and knows where we're going, and then I got two beautiful kids, and and I, we have three. You know, yeah. I lost one son oh, in yeah. my first yeah, child, sure, but yeah. it's mm -hmm. it's also part of the story. Mm -hmm. To be able to let people know that whatever you go through, mm -hmm. as long as you hold on to God, yeah. you can get restoration, and you can be a source of visible hope. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like uh, Lashan always says, uh, I think the way I balance is because I'm an OG mm -hmm. before IG. <laughs> before IG. OG. Before that IG that people go to. Yeah. Me, I've been there before that. <laughs> so I'm not distracted by that. I know where I am going. I, yeah. and, and that's why we're doing it. I, 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 I like that. And uh, what is your, your net worth? I don't know. <laughs> My net worth, if I told you now, I don't want you to keep me here. You understand me now. 
But all I can say is that, uh, like, uh, we're just in the plane, mm -hmm. you know, you cannot even calculate anyone's net worth without the individual. Mm -hmm. So if you see someone that is a billionaire or you appreciate what Java is doing, it's mm -hmm. because he has let himself to be used mm -hmm. in that way. Mm -hmm. And um, our prayer always, no matter how rich, no matter how good, is to be useful. Mm -hmm. You know, so if, if you are useless, then you become irrelevant. So mm -hmm. the fact that you're useful to yourself, to people, to your generation, it's um, beyond billions. Mm -hmm. You know, today you can stand and you can have nothing. Tomorrow you could have everything. You know, mm -hmm. some people didn't know Elon Musk before. Some people did not know Elon Musk is from this, your cousin, sister country, South Africa <laughs> here. Some people think Elon Musk is from San Francisco. <laughs> but they don't know he's from here is because he put himself to it mm -hmm. went through a lot until yeah. it's there but uh, uh the last time i heard from a company i saw somewhere uh, kpmg when they do valuation it was over 100 million dollars mm -hmm. but i don't want to say that now because passion has promised me a house and a car <laughs> next to ed <laughs> ed junior have you heard my name yeah my new name is ed junior oh that's your name yes now you know e. i see i'm the bunch or ski bunch like my jamaican friends call me capella like my south africans call me hey. mensa like my Ghanaians call me Frigay. Mm -hmm. Like my Liberians call me. So when I landed here, I said, Java. What's my South African name? Uh, my, uh, my Zimbabwean name. He said, E.D. Junior. Oh. I like that name. <laughs> okay. You like I, that? I, I am, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. E for extraordinary. Extraordinary. D for daddy. <laughs> extraordinary daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. This man is crazy. I tell you. Come on. Crazy. <laughs> Three goes are for E.D. Go, sir. Go, sir. Go, sir. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> extraordinary God. Yes. Oh, I wasn't expecting no, that. No, you were not because yeah, listen, yeah. The, the man has done so much, and um, <laughs> it, and we are fond of not telling our stories. Mm -hmm. So it's very important for us to tell our stories. And um, myself and Passion, you know, I love Passion because it's so he's so passionate mm -hmm. about what it does, whatever yeah. he puts his hands in. So mm -hmm. literally from the plane, he was educating me about the difference that, and as I said, you see this one, mm. you see this one, you see what the, <laughs> you see what we are doing. And he has showed me so much work that yeah. I've seen that has happened. Mm -hmm. So much infrastructure, so much development, things that I didn't even know. And mm -hmm. I think that's why it's so important for us to tell our story. So mm -hmm. shout out to ED, shout out to all the great works he's doing and, and everyone now that, that is supporting the- Have you, you met know, him? The, uh, uh, Yet. No, you know, as my daddy, I've already met him in faith. In faith. But uh, now, in when faith. I meet him, I will call you. <laughs> you will know that things are happening. Hey. I know I'm going to meet him again. Yeah, very yeah. Soon. Yes, soon. Very, very soon. Very, very soon. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, I was reading. Uh, you know, I, I, I do. Uh, as I was doing my research, uh, Baba Dibanj, um, I came across an article that was widely published by different publications online, which uh, stated that you allegedly, oh, um, oh, Dibanj. Okay. Yes. Sorry, I'm looking for. Oh, okay. No problem. And uh, that stated that uh, you allegedly turned yourself into, I mean, in in connection with uh, millions of dollars. You know, you stole, how you saw stuff from uh, that were meant uh, to help unemployed youth and start business in Nigeria. And this uh, happened. Don't last believe month. everything you read on social yeah. media. What? 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 what Don't what, believe what everything you read on social media. Mm. That's all. So clearly, yeah. That's it. Don't believe. Don't believe it. Don't believe what you do on social media. And mm. if it were true, I would not be here. You, said it. you have seen my bank account. <laughs> Is there any money you need and I won't give you? Is there any money <laughs> that we need that we don't have? have the money, you yourself. <laughs> what is all I talk yeah, about yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we believe. have the money. That's we so chop don't believe life. everything you read on social, social media. media. It's, it's just so to, do... Now he's no longer reading. Mm -hmm. Now he's yeah. announcing it on social media. <laughs> <laughs> this so one. tell him that it's a false news. So and, they, um, they, they wanted so to tell you ten thousand dollar suit from this guy. I should collect hundred thousand. Uh, hundred thousand. I do so. I think so. He pays me for it. Ah, this guy is passion java. But like you said, it's a it's a false news. Uh, when yeah. you're out there, mm -hmm. when you're when you're a beacon of hope, yeah. um, you cannot control the likes of people mm -hmm. that you do business with. Sure. But then, as always, if because you're, uh, you know, someone told me after God is mm -hmm. the government. Yeah. So if, if you're invited mm -hmm. and you have to clear the, uh, mm -hmm. you go that you clear here. Yeah. And if I didn't clear here, I wouldn't be here today. Yeah, so sure. I believe that by God's grace, um, they're doing the best that they can. Mm -hmm. But I'm also free, and um, and I stand as a beacon of hope to mm -hmm. let people know that you do business. But I've already advised them mm -hmm. just. Pick your business partners right mm -hmm. way so that nothing happens. But as far as you are a light, mm -hmm. just like you know, yeah. when light enter the room, darkness mm -hmm. run. Mm -hmm. That one is in the Bible. <laughs> and you cannot light a candle and put it on top under the th you have to light a candle must blow. Mm -hmm. A light must light. So as a light warrior, keep beaming your light mm -hmm. or make sure that you check the relationships you do, check the businesses you do so that no one robs anything mm -hmm. of you that you do not know. Yeah. yeah. That's it. That's it. So nice. I, I see you wearing uh, 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 flying colours. 
our flying okay. colors. Well, you already know that. Uh, oh, yes. So I was given this um, when I landed today I by um, two people. Yes. Yeah. Mike, Mike, right? Mike, yeah, our brother. Mike. And uh, so, uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Zodi. Zodwa. Zodwa. Anti Zodwa. So they cover me and they put it this. Mm. And then my brother took me through the road and we we're going everywhere. In yeah. my mind, I say, hey. Yeah. I think I'm doing a campaign <laughs> because this is love. And the last time I came, we just went straight to the hotel. Mm -hmm. But now I could feel the people. Yeah. In fact, this is not Nigeria. Mm. The way the people they run. Mm. Hey, don't be calling Zimbabwe here. We are one now. I see. I was sitting up and I said, "You, Ikechuku, stop it. You, Emeka, stop it." The people, the energy is secret. Emeka, and I'm looking for a name for passion. Yes, I think once we step, I was about to say that. Once we step into Nigeria, I will give him his name. Since he has given me E D Junior, yeah. Once we step into Nigeria, I'll give him. But he's behaving too much. I know, but I don't think we should wait for. I mean, you don't think so? Yeah, but I think he's now. No, he's already behaving like a chief. That's a pro. He's doing like a chief, like an orgy. Just give him now. I don't know what to say. Igwe. Uh, uh, Igwe. Let's call him now Igwe. 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 Uh, you know, Igwe means a king, a king a that king. he is. Mm. Um, always encouraging, always giving hope to uh -huh. people yeah. and supporting people. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think that we connect. Mm. I love it. I love it. I, I like that, uh, uh, Baba Tibanji. And uh, uh, what's your message to the, I mean, people of Zimbabwe who are listening to you, right? Your message, which is uh, at your heart. Uh, you know, like we always say, um, Let's appreciate life. Mm -hmm. um, let's be focused. Whatever you do, make sure that you give it your all. Mm -hmm. um, believe in yourself. Believe in God. And know that as long as we can make it, you can definitely, definitely make it. And mm -hmm. that's it. So, I'm the bunch. And where are my coconuts? I need two coconuts. <laughs> one on my left, one on my right. <laughs> uh, that'd be too and much. I'm waiting. I'm going to let you know myself and passion. We're mm -hmm. planning because this is a quiet trip. We're going to be getting to the studio. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to let you know with who. Yeah. You're just going to hear the songs. Yes, yes. But we're going to have a concert here. Wow. This year. Mm -hmm. Heavy. And not just me. I'm going to be inviting my colleagues mm -hmm. and my friends from Nigeria. Nigeria as well. So you're going to see a Nigerian. Zimbabwe, even West Africa, mm. based on our collaboration. Mm. I told mm. you we've done about four songs already. Yeah. So imagine the kind of thing we do before the end of the year. And I cannot mm. wait. I cannot mm. wait. I, I, we, these we people in Zimbabwe, wait. they have ginger. <laughs> I like their ginger. ginger. They can stand up, dance, and so shake. Can you, can you give us a, 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 like a freestyle or something? No. I'll let you know the secrets. If I let you no, know no, the no. cut. I mean, any. No, no, any freestyle. No freestyle. You no already freestyle. know. It's Let me hear now it. you only have expensive style. Oh, Ex right. Expensive style. <laughs> no, expensive. No freestyle. You know you're so good. You can't do freestyle now. Nah. I swear you Look, good. you have gold teeth. Hey. Gold glasses. Gold phone. <laughs> now you they want you to do freestyle. freestyle. Ah, expensive style. Expensive style. style. Do you know I've not heard this is what I told you about passion. Uh, uh. This man is creatively great. I'm <laughs> telling you. <laughs> He's creatively great. So I don't do freestyle. Mm -hmm. I do expensive style. <laughs> expensive style. Gucci. Okay, <laughs> so as we conclude, Dibanj, uh, <laughs> what are your parting remarks there, Dibanj? So <laughs> oh, me, I have a confession. Don't take it personal. <laughs> the confession you can take personal. We are going expensive style. <laughs> and that is it. Because last, last, you know, um, God has blessed us all and we have to show that beacon of hope. And mm -hmm. that's why we're here. So mm -hmm. please, wake up from your room, turn on your TV, be encouraged because the Lord God that mm -hmm. did it for myself and passion is definitely going to do it for you. Mm -hmm. That's it. Nice one. And uh, maybe how can people get in touch with you, Debanch? Yes, uh, you know you can follow me every social media handle. You know, I'm Debanch, Twitter, everything. But if you also have passion or you go to our church, then you know ministration is complete. Mm. Hallelujah. <laughs> You're going to receive your healing, body, soul, and mind. But you can check me. And if you have any picture, just tag me. Mm -hmm. It's go way down on the DM. It go down. Go oh, down on the DM. It go down. It go down. <laughs> Uh, a nice one. Thank you so much. That was G Bunch Hola. alongside Prophet Pasha. people need to know about our church. Yeah. We have the anointing of Elijah, mm -hmm. yes. Moses, mm. Adam, mm. Solomon. Mm. Solomon. Why Solomon? King Solomon. No, why you say why? You know he's rich. I Everything really goes. You know why. Rich. <laughs> you know why. You know why. The rich one. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. That was uh, Dibanj and uh, Prophet uh, Passion Java. So, and the team, we expect us like a wonder there. Yeah, what we expect? What we promise them are fireworks. You know, we can't wait. And I played you that song earlier on uh, Chop Life. Uh, so yeah as we say goodbye i want to play you this one from you know
Badango Simbisa DJ Fantan. DJ Fantan. Tanga Zim Danso. Lev was the greatest producer. And the Oski, Dichu Baba, Chima Baba Baba. Rock Hood, Boss Lashan, of course, Boate, Israel Matthew. Yes. Dibanche, thank you for coming. Thank you. And above everything, we do the other Oga three times. What do you call it? Three Bosa for ED. Gosa, Gosa, Gosa. Thank you guys. <laughs>